So I had this idea that I was going to do a little tip of the day about connection points because managing connection points is like a huge deal in Final Cut 10. It's really important if you've got, you know, some clips here and, uh, you know, you've got a cut here and a cut here and you want this clip to come with it. Well, that's not going to work unless you put your connection point there and then it'll work. So that was cool. And what I was going to, that was cool. Um, my thing was, you know, what if you've got a cut here and a cut here and, you know, this music is part or this, you know, it's music in this case, it could be anything is a, you know, connected to that. However, you would like this to come with it too. If you move this bit of video, um, but unfortunately, no matter how far you zoom in, you can't connect this to that. Or can you? Actually, you can if you expand the AV, drag this guy out here, the container. I'm not sure. It probably has a fancy name, but I'm going to call it the container. Um, then you simply change the connection point, put it there, and then if you move um, this bit those both come with it. So that was going to be my tip of the day. But then I got to thinking, let's undo all this. Um, so, you know, when you cut music, you're going to end up, this is some cut music, and I've done some, you know, wacky um, retiming to get this little mashup to work. And you've got it all there, but you'd like it to stay in one piece because you're going to cut some video to it and you don't want it to move. So the two options are to um, put it into a compound clip. Um, you know, let me just do this real quick. So you've got that, and you're here in your picture, and you want to adjust something, so you double click it, and the playhead's right there. But you know, if you make an adjustment, then when you go back to you, the only way to check it against picture, of which there is none here, is that you have to go back to the project and back and forth and back and forth. So here's what I came up with. And maybe everybody knows this, but if you don't know it, it's kind of cool. You would basically expand your AV on all these, drag the containers out of the way of each other, and then just uh, stick it all in a secondary. There you go. There's your secondary. The nice thing about this is say you want to move this bit of music or its sound effect or whatever it is with this here. Well, normally that won't move because your secondary is say connected here. Um, but you can actually, since it's in a secondary, you can, you should be able to drag this. It doesn't work for whatever reason, but you can use the arrow keys to move this around as much as you'd like, as long as the these don't hit. Now if you need more space, you can uh, move that out of the way and then you can move it to wherever the heck you want. So to expand on that little idea, let me just hit undo a million times to get back to where we were. So you've got this little setup, but let's say you wanted to add some more music. So you would, um, I don't know, Go to your source, uh, cut in a this clip, and then maybe this clip, and you want this to go here, and you want this to go here, and you'd also like another piece to go, I don't know, uh, here. So you got this big thing going on, and you've put your little fades on, you've done whatever. Um, you can just keep adding this stuff to the to this secondary by simply expanding that stuff, zooming in a little bit, making sure you got the position tool, move these things out of the way, move this over to like there, move this over to here, move these out of the way, and then you can just um, 
shift drag that stuff all up in there. I should actually point out that it's easier to just select all your clips, deselect any gap that might be selected, and then just hit Command-G and it puts it all into a nice uh, secondary, leaving some weird visual artifacts. You need to get rid of that. So there you've effectively got eight tracks of music in a secondary storyline which sticks to the primary, but you still have the ability to move this stuff around if you need to, you know, slip it or slide it or whatever you need to do. Um, and then you can just sort of squish all that stuff back up. There. Two things just occurred to me as I was about to post this. Um, the first thing is that this is the spine. It's not the container. It's the spine. Maybe that's not the name. I think that's the name. It's the spine. Um, anyway, the other thing that I thought is, what if you had like 16 tracks, channels? Um, so you've cut it all up and you've got all your fades in, and then all you really need to do is open this up, do a little spine dragging here. You get all this stuff lined up, and uh, you select them all. Deselect that. There you go. There is 16 tracks, channels, and then you could go ahead and cut it. You can do whatever you want, and do that. See that? You can move your whole music bed around. Anyway, so there is the tip of the day. Hope you enjoy it.